Dried pasta is a great product, but not all brands are the same. So I went to see Pasta Mancini and spoke to Lorenzo Settimi about what it takes to make a great quality pasta. Pasta Mancini is surrounded by wheat fields. It is the only pasta company in Italy to grow its own durum wheat for its flour. The wheat is milled only when it is needed in the factory. And today they are making bucatini. Lorenzo is showing us around the factory. The semola flour is mixed with water and the dough is extruded through these bronze dyes. These create the rough texture essential for good quality pasta. The uncut bucatini are a waterfall of pasta. which is cut at intervals. Here you can feel the humidity, okay? The roughness of the surface because of the bronze. And then you can have a look of the hole. The ends are given a trimming. The pasta is then given a long, slow and humid bake at low temperatures. We dry the core of the pasta. And if you compare the, our process to an industrial one, you have 42 hours and uh, 45 degrees at maximum versus three hours at 110 degrees normally. And uh, you will obtain uh, an alive pasta. It is chopped into four equal lengths. The remaining curves are used in menestre or soups. And now the visit is finished and it's time to go in the kitchen. It's called Arcol Tuffoli, a big rigatone, a very large rigatone, and it's special for the texture. Lorenzo is showing us a harvest festival pasta dish to show the characteristics of good quality pasta. A red sauce of duck. He has made a duck ragu. It was slowly simmered for four hours. Just a small sofrito with some uh, um, onions, with some celery and carrots. Just, a, just a, a small part of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And then you let it go with a very slow, slow uh, flame. Uh, 12 grams of salt in a uh, per liter of, uh, of water. Mm -hmm. When you open a packet of pasta, it should smell of wheat. Another aspect to hit me for the first time was the, the strong flavor of wheat that every single pack of this pasta uh, has. Trophily should stay bouncy. This is called plasticity and mm -hmm. at the same time el elasticity. And it's very important because in this way you can, uh, you can perceive the quality of the weight. Because the very al dente cooking time is when you, you don't have this white soil inside, you have uh, an homogeneity. Mm -hmm. So the pasta is very homogeneous to bite. The pasta is cooked when there is no chalky center. This pasta has a, a very strong whiff smell when you cook it. And the challenge is to find the same smell in every other pasta. A bit of pasta water. Please note that there is no a closed tuffolo. We need time just for them to match the sauce. Just with a very, very low flame. Lorenzo finishes cooking the pasta in the sauce. The pasta absorbs the flavors. And we just reuse the grease from the duck. We 
Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.